I'm just about ready to post my review of the new Taurus Deputy in 45 Colt, but first I'd like to bring you along for the unboxing and give you a sneak peek at the first shots. I'm Dustin and you're watching Guns of the West. dive right in. First of all, I'm impressed with the case that it came in. Nice keeper. Usually I do an unboxing of a gun and then I throw the boxes away. But this one I think I'll hang on to. Well, there it is. There is the deputy and a safety lock that comes with handguns nowadays. So let's just take a look at this. Well, first actually, let's see. Usually you've got owner's manual and things. Let's see. If that... Oh, here we go. Right under there, you have your usual paperwork. Now we can get that whoop, out of the way. And there it is. That is the Taurus Deputy. And this one is in 45 Colt. It is also available in 357 Magnum, which of course would also shoot 38 Special. But I got it in the 45 Colt. Another thing that's an option is the barrel length. This one is the five and a half inch barrel. I have seen them in four and three quarters where the barrel is just the same length as the ejector housing. I've not seen longer ones. I could be wrong, but I believe it just comes in four and three quarters or in this five and a half. It's just got two piece plastic grips and by the feel, they are actually very well fitted. Sometimes you get grips that are you know, hanging over too much, but those feel like they're actually very well made and they fit just right. So it looks like to be blued finish. I believe on their website they just call it black, but it appears to be blued. Let's see if we can get that to come off. Yeah, that was just a little warning to read the manual. And we'll go ahead and take this cylinder out. So we'll press in on this pin. And let's see if that will be a little stiff when it's new, probably. Pull that to half cock. There it goes. I'll set that down for just a moment. Taurus, they do this on their double actions as well. It's a little safety cover. And there are those big 45 Colt chambers. Let's go ahead and put it back in. And it looks like that pin doesn't quite come all the way out. It stops right there on the ejector. So I guess you can just leave it in, which I suppose is fine. But anyway, let's line that back up. See, if, there it goes. Pin will snap back into place. And let's look at the function compared to a Colt single action army, because obviously guns like this are sort of uh, just copies of the Colt single action army. It has very similar loading gate and it loads the same way. And when I open the loading gate, the cylinder does not freely turn. I like that. As I've mentioned on my channel, there are some brands out there with the, that will do that and I don't particularly like it. So let's see. Half cock position. Yep, that does it. And it will only spin one way, just like a Colt. So I like that and good positive clicks in between chambers. It's got the same ejector as the Colt single action army. You can see it protruding there. And one thing that I'm very curious about is this. Let's see how many clicks it is. One, two, three, four. It's a four click hammer, I love that. It is not authentic in the sense that this does have a transfer bar right there. And I'll do a video coming up soon on a close-up look at the difference between the ones with the transfer bar and the more traditional historical ones. But this one does have a transfer bar. And short version of what that means, the gun can only discharge if your finger is on the trigger. So if the trigger were to be pulled and my finger is staying on the trigger, the hammer comes down and that transfer bar will stay in place. Hammer pushes that into the firing pin and that discharges the primer on the round. But say for some reason I fired the gun but my finger did not stay on the trigger, the hammer comes down but notice the transfer bar dropping down out of place. So the hammer, even if it went all the way forward, cannot contact it. So, you know, you've seen me on some guns load what I call the cowboy load. Many people call it that, five rounds instead of six. This one could be carried around all day with all six loaded in it. Well, now that you've had a good look at it, I promised you you'd get to see the first shot, so let's do that. <laughs> Don't 
target's swinging pretty bad. Well, I really hope you enjoyed the video today and the first look and unboxing of this Taurus Deputy and 45 Colt. I can't wait to show you the full review. This is such a fun gun to shoot. I've already filmed it and just getting ready to release it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so that you can be notified when that comes out. And be sure to click the like button as well. It helps the channel. Also, if you look in the description, you'll see where to find me on social media as well as where to find all of the great Guns of the West products. Thank you so much for watching.